वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वन सेकेंड एज वी हैव सीन इन लास्ट वीडियोज दैट कैलकुलेशंस ऑफ वैन स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड डेंसिटी ऑफ स्टेट्स ऑफ मॉलीबोडिनम डाइसल्फाइट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वन सॉफ्टवेयर डेट इज ओरिजिन वेयर वी कैन प्लॉट आवर डेटास ओके वॉट एवर वी द ग्राफ वी कैन प्लॉट देयर सो टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू सी द इफेक्टिव मास कैलकुलेशंस ऑफ एनी मेटेरियल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द इफेक्टिव मास सो इफेक्टिव मास इज बेसिकली द मास Uh, that is of that is also electron mass which is differ from the free electron mass actually uh, we are calculating the effective mass uh, at the point of conduction band or the valence band okay so that mass is differ from uh, electron free mass because uh, that uh, the electrons which are influences under the external field or force okay when the electrons are uh, influencing any other electric field or uh, external force then the bunch of electrons near this or at this conduction band or valence band uh, means gaining a, a different uh, amount of mass so that is the uh, effective mass and effective mass basically calculated near these points only because uh, when we going far from these points the masses of electrons uh, Uh, meets the free electron mass and uh, uh, this is the uh, formula of effective mass calculations so we need to uh, calculate uh, these terms uh, by this uh, band from this band structure okay we will differentiate this band structures okay so so to do that uh, we need to abstract the Uh, data of the our band structures uh, calculation calculations so in origin we can insert the data and we can plot so plot will be seen like this so this is i have taken high symmetric points of this molybdenum disulfide and uh, i will abstract some points near this uh, valence band and conduction bands this is my conduction band i will abstract some points from uh, this uh, conduction bands so their data will be Uh, same like this okay so this is my abstracted points okay this is my abstracted point this is my uh, uh, wave wef, uh, the vec wave vectors and these are my uh, energy values so this will be seen like this okay so this is i have abstracted some uh, values near this conduction lines then uh, as this is in the lattice means very uh, long zones so i need to uh, convert these points to the uh, real lattice okay so to do that uh, i need to multiply this value with the 2 pi and i need to divide it by this value with the uh, lattice parameter so for uh, molybdenum disulfide i got this lattice parameter okay so after means uh, means this is the conversion of from uh, uh, virilon zones or the reciprocal space to the real space and i also multiply this energy values to the uh, charge of an electron okay so i have converted from electron volt to the joule uh, then i need to do this differentiation of this uh, curve okay so so to do that differentiation of this band structures okay so i will get the differentiations of this curve okay so i can do this using uh, this analysis uh, options in mathematics as so i can differentiate okay i can double differentiate this curve okay from here this curve number is showing this 7 i can choose this differentiation or differentiation order so i can differentiate this uh, double order differentiation okay so after differentiating this uh, curve so so i uh, i got this i will be have these values okay so i will be have this difference uh, double differentiation value okay so from here i can abstract one value and then i can uh, calculate uh, put in the uh, effective mass formula okay so we can see it here okay so this is my differentiation value okay this is for conduction band sorry this is for valence band and this is for conduction band okay i have calculated 
for both but i am showing only conduction band there so this is this is the our uh, calculated uh, differentiated value from the band structures okay so uh, in the formula we have seen that uh, this energy term differentiated energy term okay we need to divide uh, we need to divide this value okay this value with this differentiated energy okay this is a constant term uh, either we can say reduced uh, planck's constant and this can be calculated by uh, divide planck's constant divided by pi okay so value of this uh, will come by from there okay now uh, so the planck's constant value is this okay then uh, for uh, calculating the effective mass in terms of free mass electrons okay so to do that i need to divide my uh, effective mass okay the overall effective mass to the uh, free electron mass okay i need to divide uh, the effective whatever effective mass that i have calculated to the uh, free uh, electron mass okay so this is the value of that reduced planck's constant and i have written here e, e is my that differentiated value okay i i will need to divide it this value okay so this is divided then i have again divided all this value with the free electron mass then i got this value so this is my effective mass of electron so if you uh, you will proceed the same procedure to calculate the uh, balance band effective mass okay uh, in the balance band so then there will be a negative effective mass will be showing okay so negative effective mass means this is the whole mass okay so this is the whole mass and this is the effective electron mass and this is effective whole mass thank you everyone uh, for being with me and uh, please subscribe my channels and share and like thank you thank you everyone.